So I was actually ear dropping. I passing by and I heard these two individuals in along with your group are talking about the Southern Talent Program. So that's why I stopped and I just followed you guys. So tell us a little about what you know about the uh, Southern Talents program and other infiltration that the CCP has done in America. Um, so I actually uh, up in Boston recently covered a story, right? There was a big one in the news talking about um, gain of function research that was supposedly being done at one of the laboratories there. And just through light digging, you can find out that there's um, back in 2020, the Department of Justice arrested, arrested a Harvard professor and two Chinese nationals for stealing proprietary information as part of this Thousand Talents plan. Uh, so the CCP is using money. They're not playing by the rules in terms of like, you know, you know what you would expect from countries that we do business with or share um, investigative research in laboratories with. Um, but they're stealing that information. So American taxpayers were funding research in these different areas. And then the Chinese Communist Party was paying people to bring that information to China and giving them kickbacks. And so this isn't just limited to, you know, bio biology research and stuff like that. It, it's a, any, any technology or anything that the CCP deems uh, information worthy of having, they're paying people to steal it. And not just in the United States, but Canada, Australia, and really anywhere. And so um, they're not playing by the rules. And this is something that every country worldwide should be condemning. Absolutely. So um, I know you're very knowledgeable on the subjects. So do you know who is behind the Southern Talent Program? There is a CCP agent called Shan Wei Jian. This is actually we're protesting. There are protesting around the Amer uh, America. There's a couple of cities. We're actually going to um, his house and protesting. We wanted to root out those, uh, you know, foreign agents that working for the CCP. I know you uh, did a lot of research. You're very knowledgeable about the United Front Work Department work, the intelligence. So tell us about that and how they infiltrate the United States. So, uh, some of you may know, my, my work with Epic Times actually goes back to 2006, but I've been an investigative reporter since 2008. My work in 2008 as an investigative journalist started when I accidentally uncovered the United Front Work Department operations in Flushing, Queens, and New York. And, of course, I didn't know what I found at first. It, it shocked me. I found that the Chinese, you know, the Tongs, right, were linked with the triads, of course, were basically being recruited by the Chinese Communist Party through the Chinese consulates. At the time, Chinese Consul General Peng Kai Yu was actually meeting with members, uh, specifically the Fukian American Association. Some of you may be aware the Fukian American Association in New York is also affiliated with the Fukqing Gang, one of the largest transnational organized crime groups in the world, you know, Chinese mafia, right? Uh, they were The CCP was recruiting these individuals to basically work as overseas agents. We've heard these new stories about Chinese police departments operating in America. A lot of those are just tongs recruited by the CCP under the United Front Work Department. Alongside the United Front Work Department, you have the Overseas Chinese Affairs Office, which does very similar operations. You can understand these basically as leadership capture. They want to get every single person of influence in every, not just America, but every country in the world, working on behalf of the Chinese Communist Party, whether it's a journalist, whether it's a scientist, whether it's an academic, and they have programs targeted at each individual. You mentioned Thousand Talents program, targeted a lot of like, you know, maybe professors and researchers. There's the Torch program, targeted at like, uh, you know, technology experts or like business, you know, people. They have all kinds of stuff like this, you know, 973 program, you know, all, all kinds, 211 program. The list goes on and on and on. You can understand it basically as capture the people who influence the country and get them serving the interests of the CCP and compromising them through various means. Wow. You, you put it in a very succinct way. I think everybody will get that.